How do you increase your protein levels in wheat? I get this question just about every year. It's one simple thing. Have more nitrogen available later in the season. Your protein levels will go up absolutely guaranteed. That's all you need to do. I'd like to keep it as simple as nitrogen, and it's a major portion of it. There's no question about it. But well, we that's also like 90 percent of it. We also need some sulfur, and some of the micronutrients are really critical in protein building. So whenever you're putting that out there, you want to make sure not not just putting nitrogen out. You got to have plentiful levels of sulfur as well. And where do we see a lot of issues with this where, where it's not available? It's either under application, uh, where we just aren't putting enough total pounds on, or it's, hey, I'm going to put it all on in the fall or very early spring, and then we get some moisture out there and it moves it down out of that root zone or, or washes it out completely. So what we want to try and do for a number of reasons is space that nutrient application out so we're doing it a little bit later in the season. That way, hey, you know what, if we put nitrogen out and maybe a little bit of sulfur out late, it doesn't have any time to get anywhere else other than right into our plants. Yeah, but Darren, you missed one key point, and that's organic matter. Last year, for example, I talked to some wheat farmers that said, wow, I don't know why, normally my protein is low, but last year I had high protein. <laughs> And I said, well, I can tell you exactly why it happened. Because we had much more organic matter mineralization. We saw that all over the Midwest last year. For example, on our own farm, we ran some in-season nitrate tests, found out we had way more nitrogen available than what we ever expected. What happened is the organic matter mineralized at a much more rapid pace because we started so warm so early in the spring last year. And so that releases nitrogen. Roughly 20 to 30 pounds of nitrogen come available for every 1% of organic matter throughout the entire growing season. Doesn't happen by July, okay? It happens all the way through the growing season. So I'm just trying to say you can't figure 20 on your farm for wheat, uh, but you can figure something. Two things about that organic matter. Brands, right? Long term, hey, we want to build organic matter levels. That's a big goal for us on our farm. And I know many of the best farmers that we talk to around the country are saying, hey, I got to get my organic matter levels up to gain that free uh, nutrient release that we get through mineralization. That's great long term. It's not going to happen in one year's time period. So that is, isn't going to change this year. Whatever you started with, that's what you got. Uh, so, so yes, change your practices, build it long term. For this year, though, we got to worry about what's out there. And the big thing that I would like to see done more in our country is just more testing. We've got really inexpensive nitrate tests we can pull in season for about five bucks a throw. Why would you not pull some nitrate tests and just see what's out there? Because, you know, let's face it, we, we talk about 10 to 20 pounds of nitrogen or 20 to 30 pounds of nitrogen being released for each one point of organic matter. You don't really know. Is it the 10? Is it the 20? Maybe it's even the 30, depending on, you know, how full season a crop you've got. We don't know. So go out and pull some tests, see what's out there, then make your judgment as to how much you have to apply. Let's talk about that application though. A lot of people like doing just foliar applications of different products. Well, that's nice to talk about, but when we start mentioning nitrogen and you want to put 20 gallons out there, how are you going to do that? It's a lot of volume, number one, and it's going to burn the crop, number two. So you'd have to put it on with a whole bunch of water if you want to minimize that, or you just cut the rate way back, which some guys are trying. Some of these uh, uh, products that have a lot of availability of nitrogen, there are some of those products out there. It doesn't take a lot sometimes, and you can go, go spray right near that heading timing, and all of a sudden you have a little higher protein level because you have more nitrogen available in the plant. The other main method that we really prefer in a lot of cases is stream barring. If you've got tram lines on your farm and you can go back out there, then you can go spray. You don't have to worry about running the crop down. And then you have these streams of nitrogen that are running out. And that doesn't have to be watered down. You don't have to worry about it burning your wheat plant or anything like that because it's a little stream every few inches. If you're going to put nitrogen on that way, we like it because you can put a lot on. But the only drawback is you're going to need some moisture to get it into the ground. So if you say, look, I'm in a really dry area of the country. I'm not going to have rain for two weeks. I might go to plan B. But otherwise, my plan A almost all the time is stream bar nitrogen relatively late in the season. So we talked today about increasing protein levels, and that's great if you can get a protein premium. We also want to see high yields, too. We want to have lots of bushels to sell and get the premium on them. And if you want to have both, you've got to manage all your stresses, 
all throughout the growing season, do everything you can to maximize yield, and then just make sure there's enough nitrogen, sulfur, and other nutrients available late in the season to boost your protein Yeah, but as the well. whole thing is, a lot of times, you're talking high yield. So we do all these great things to increase yield, but that comes at the expense of protein because there's enough nitrogen for the yield, but not enough nitrogen for the protein. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you say, boy, I'm doing everything else great. I got a great growing season. Everything else is fantastic. Well, maybe this is the year for a little bit more nitrogen. And for all of these things to work, you have to have great weed control through the season too. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed coming up later in the show.